the election and Donald Trump had me down in the dumps. But it was a gorgeous fall day, perfect for a ramble. So in search of inspiration, I headed up to the Baha'i Temple in Wilmette. The Baha'i faith has over 5 million adherents around the world. Its message is centered on the oneness of God, the unity of all faiths, universal education, and the harmony of all people. It's a religion that believes in evolution, has no priesthood, and few formal rituals. Plans to build a Baha'i House of Worship in the Chicago area were first discussed in 1903. The groundbreaking took place in 1912, but the actual construction didn't begin until the 1920s. By 1922, the first part of the building, the Foundation Hall, was mostly finished and served as a meeting place. Progress on construction soon stalled due to the lack of funds and residents of Wilmette displeasure with the construction site. Strange rumors about the structure began to circulate. Some people believed that the building was used by the Baha'is to keep a live white whale. Others said that the building was a refueling station for captured German submarines that had been brought to the Great Lakes. Construction resumed as contributions from Baha'is all over the world began to increase and in 1930 work began to complete the building's superstructure. This was finished in 1931 and a year later John Joseph Early was hired to start work on the building's concrete cladding. A model of the temple was placed on display at Chicago's Century of Progress Exposition in 1933-34. As a result, people began traveling to Wilmette to see the building take shape. Work remained to be done on the interior cleaning of the structure as well as the landscaping around the building. Architect Louis Bourgeoisie designs for the interior were incomplete because he died in 1930 before finishing his plans. So in 1947, Albert Shaw was hired to work on the interior detailing of the building. A plan for the building's gardens was approved in 1951 based on a design by Hilbert E. Dahl. The temple was finally dedicated on May 2, 1953, almost 50 years after the planning had begun. In 1978, the House of Worship was added to the National Register of Historic Places, and the Illinois Office of Tourism has named it one of the Seven Wonders of Illinois. It is the oldest of the seven existing Baha'i Houses of Worship. The others are in Australia, Uganda, Germany, Panama, Samoa, and India.